Okay guys, y'all have voted on a video tutorial instead of pictures and blog posts. We are gonna start this sign. The first thing I did was paint the background a chocolate brown color. And then I came in with the London color, which is really like a white, very, very, very light blue, even grayish color that's right here on top of the brown. I just dry brush this a little bit. If you have not done the dry brushing before, all you're basically doing is you just put a little bit of paint on your brush and you're just pulling it across like this. So you can see it doesn't completely cover. And you're, it's almost like um, just wispy. So it's in the flick of your wrist like this. You wanna do your brush. So it's like this, okay? So I know that's kind of like a crazy explanation, but, and when you get to your edges, you can just pull out away from your edges. Now, if you're painting on a counter like this, you might want to pull it out so you don't get paint on your counter, and then you just pull it out like this. Okay, so just paint your background a dark color, whatever color you like, and then go ahead and dry brush your lighter color on top, and then we are going to go ahead and cut the stencil out. I'm just doing a shape for this board, and we will move on to the next okay, so Now, what I'm gonna be using is this craft design on our sign. The sign is actually 16 by 24, but my little crab guy is gonna be a little bit less than 12 and about 18 and a half. This crab silhouette came from the Silhouette store. Um, just a simple shape. You can use any kind of shape that you want to use for this, a horse, a crab, a, you know, anchors, seashells, whatever it is. It's just gonna be a fun way to do an outline of a simple shape. I'm gonna go ahead and send this over to the Silhouette to cut and then we'll go on to the next. Okay, remember we're gonna do this sign like PVPP instead of the stencil. So because of that, we just wanna take off all the outside and we will leave the crab shape here in the middle. Now, if you don't have um, 813 contact paper, regular vinyl, any of that will do perfectly fine for this tutorial. 813 is really more for stenciling. I just am using it because it was readily available for me to grab and use. This is pretty close to the edge. So we're just pulling off all of these little pieces. That way we just have our little crab guy right here. And really, since he's a whole entire piece, you could attempt to just pick him up and slap him on your sign if you want to. But I will be transferring him with some transfer paper just because his legs are a little bit um, frail, so I don't want him to get messed up. Okay guys, so I have my transfer paper on my crab. This transfer paper is 582U, it's from US Cutter. So I'm just transferring it over here onto my little guy. And then we're just gonna pull from behind to remove the backing. Just like this. And this part's gonna be trash. Okay, so the next part of this, which I've already done a little bit of, I like to rough up the background a little bit because I don't want it to be so smooth and perfect. Even though we dry brush, I want it to actually look intentional like there was some damage done. So what I take, and you could take like a chain or you could take a hammer, screwdriver, whatever you want, just make it look a little bit rough. I'm gonna just take the side of this putty knife and just scratch like so. Now it's loud. So I won't do the whole thing on there, but you can see how it just gives it that really worn look, like it's been around for a while, and that's how we want it to look. And we're gonna lay our crab on top of that. So I've already done most of the spots. We don't have to do the whole board because we just want to show through a few places. And then we'll take our crab. And we're just gonna try to find the center of the board since I didn't do my hinge method this time. And I'll lay him. How about, oops. I'm trying to do his head level because his body, his pinchers are taller in some areas. But guys, this is just fine, okay? So we are gonna put our crab on here. Remove our transfer paper.
And any little parts that kind of come up, just push them back down. Okay, now I can tell that the leg over here didn't go down all the way. It's not completely pushed down. So all you're gonna do, make sure to go over your stencil with your fingers. You know, use your hands and feel what you're doing and push everything down like so to make sure that you have good adhesion on your board. You can see where I scratched everything up over here. Some of it will show and some of it won't and that's okay. But right here in the middle of his body, you'll see those rough spots. Okay, so now this is the PVPP part. This part, this color right here is London. So we're gonna put our stencil on like we already did and I'm just opening London back up. And what I'm gonna do is paint over this whole entire stencil, okay? So, if anything were to leak on our painting, underneath our crab, it's gonna be the same color and it's not gonna be our top color, okay? So the first layer that we're painting, and you don't have to paint your whole board, you're just painting over your stencil, is London. Okay, and then we're gonna allow London to dry, and then we'll come back with our next color. Okay guys, so the Northern Lights is still wet right now, but you can take different tools, like I have a horseshoe here, we have the scraper, we have a paint stick, whatever, and around the silhouette, not on the actual crab, but just on the outside of the board, you can just kind of scratch a little bit to pull some of it up. And that also helps it to have that distressed look on the top coat and show some of that white from underneath. And I mean, just take whatever you have on hand. You don't have to be certain tools, you know, just come in and have a little bit of fun, get your hands dirty, play around with different techniques. You just be artistic in all of this. See, you can use the paint scraper again to give it like a wider look of that white from behind. The other thing that you can do, and the paint scraper really is one of my favorite tools to use. You can get them in different widths and they're just useful for so many different things. Um, the other thing that you can do is just get a wet napkin or towel, like this one, and this chalk paint wet distress is really easy. So if you just wipe a bit, you can see how it comes off so easily like that. And it really blends nice when you do that. So we'll just take some of it off and then take a look at it. And you can always add a little bit more on too. So if you feel like you took too much off, like that right there is a big white spot. So I'll probably just brush a little bit of green back on top of it. But just go around and give it a unique look. It's no one else's painting but yours. And this is how you personalize. Okay, so you can see now that we just have this kind of crazy paint all over the background. And the next step, if you have a Dremel, this will be a lot faster, but if you just have a flathead screwdriver, what you're gonna do is just go around the outline of your stencil and you'll just scratch it in like this. And what you're doing is creating that shape on your sign around the paint color. So it's just gonna give it more texture again once you remove the stencil. So just do that all the way around your item. Okay, so now we have went all the way around the whole outside of the shape. This is the point where if you want to do any more distressing, just go ahead and do it right now, and then we will um, go ahead and take the stencil off. Okay, and now is time to remove the stencil.
All right, guys, that's it. That's a finished sign. We have our crab in the background, kind of roughed up from all the fun work that we did before we laid down the green paint. We have distressed the back. I'm going to sand the edges and such and seal it, so I'll post a picture in the comments below once it's done. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Let me know if you wanna see more tutorials like this in the future. And I hope you guys are having a great day.